501st LEGO Clone Troopers Battle Pack with 119 pieces from LEGO Star Wars. It normally goes for $20 on LEGO and Amazon. Right now it's back ordered on LEGO and the price has gone outrageously up to $32 on Amazon. It's got a little Clone Wars 20th Anniversary sticker there. And that's the back of the box. I was originally going to do a live stream of me unboxing, building, and reviewing this set, but right before I was about to do it, I figured out that I had to do, I had to have 50 subscribers on my channel to be able to do that. So unfortunately, I couldn't do that. So I'll just be doing a little quick review for you guys today. So I'm going to take a look at the clone troopers to start with. So there's four in the battle pack, which is why it's a battle pack. We've got two heavy clone troopers. Um, and there's a little backpack on this guy too, made up of two pieces. He's got a blue visor and a helmet that looks a little bit like Commander Cody's in the ATTE set. He's got a little machine gun there and some chest straps and buckles. And there's two of him. We also have a specialist or sniper clone trooper. And he's got a little um, macro binoculars, which is pretty cool. And this is his sniper rifle and his little pistol there. And he's got blue arms, which is unusual for the clone troopers um, nowadays. He's got two little yellow marks there on his chest armor. And the back of him. Okay, and then the last guy is the clone trooper officer, which is basically just like the guy in charge of the whole thing. And he's got a blue rangefinder and some nice little um, cloth printed on there. And his pockets and belt thing is blue. So the clone troopers are really nice and they have the same head, if you're wondering. Um, they're really nice. I'm so glad that Lego finally put holes in the phase two helmet for the 501st Legion. And this is a good little $20 for four clone troopers. So the directions are just normal white ones. And then the build is a little um, cannon. So it's like a little artillery cannon. You can move up and down. It's got a little seat there for your heavy clone trooper. And the legs move. And the feet also move up and down. So I think this is one of the best battle pack builds that we have gotten in a long time. And it comes with an extra flick missile, too. The only problem that I'm having with this is every time I look at it, it looks like a bug. Like, it's got, like, legs and a red eye right there. So it's just a little bit unnerving, but that is sort of how the cannon looks in the Clone Wars. So I'll go with it. So with the extra pieces that we get um, right here, there you've got that extra missile. You've got an extra printed backpack piece, so you'll get three of those in the battle pack. Some binoculars, a bunch of extra pieces. And your battle pack should come with four blue visors, two macro binoculars, and four blue rangefinders. So what you can do with the extra pieces is, first of all, you can make like a little um, radio right there. So I know it doesn't look very good, but it's something you can do with extra pieces. So your heavy troopers can, communi can communicate with the guys on the cannon. And then you can also make a little artillery shell for them to shoot out. So just something I figured out to do with the extra pieces. The battle pack overall is a great, great, um, set. It is a 5 out of 5 for me. Not sure about you guys, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be one of those where people cannot get enough of them. 
And that is all for Brick Squadron. Thank you for watching. Bye.